Welcome to the garden, y'all. It is June 1st. Obviously a jungle. I was going to pick my corn. What's, what's ready today? But we just had a rain. It wasn't a whole lot. Yeah, ground's not too terribly wet. But the corn is wet. And if I don't want to walk through it and get all wet. So I may wait till tomorrow. But yeah, it's ready. So the corn silks are dry. They're not crunchy. Some of them are. Okay, this one. Let's see. This one, if it hadn't got rained on. If you can pull the silks out real easy, they're ready. And that would have pulled out pretty easy. Let's see if I can find them. The answer in that one. I might give it a little bit and may come back out here and pick corn anyway. I don't know. But it's tall. All right, I'll take you on a little garden tour. And then I'm going to plant cucumbers. And oh, I forgot my okra seeds. I'll have to go back in the house and get them. I'm going to grow those Armenian cucumbers. Strawberries are doing good. I've been picking a few every day. My Kajari melons. Oh, the sun's bright that way. Let's get over here. My Kajari melons are getting right on up there. And then I have a couple in here somewhere that I tied. Oh, this one went to the ground. I tied a stuff around it. Yeah, can you see that? It's about the size of a softball. Here's another one. So that I know, because so, I'm going to plant cucumbers, they will cross with cucumbers, but I have not planted yet, so I wanted to mark a couple so that I know that they're not cross-pollinated and I save seeds from them. There's a little bitty baby one down there. But there's little bitty baby ones all over them. But anyway, that's one side of the trellis. The other side that was shaded out by my potatoes is finally coming on. It doesn't have any on it yet that I have seen. There may be some little bitty, tiny new ones. I don't know. I haven't seen any. Two Serrano peppers. This is my black-eyed butter beans. It's got to the top of the trellis. It's really thick up there. I don't. I may have to have a step stool or something to pick those when it gets time. My tomatoes. I picked one ripe one the other day. And I think when these do that, it's time to pull to save seeds. They've bloomed and fell over. That one's turning. I need to pull up all the rest of my onions. A Swiss chard. This is my lettuce. It's going to seed. Watch out. And these butter beans. And you can see there's, there's beans in there. I think there's like three per pod. But... There's pods everywhere and blooms everywhere. Yeah, see that one you can see the three beans in the pod. I won't focus on it. You can see them. There's three in that one. 
There must be three in all of them. This is my first time to grow them, so. But they're still pretty flat. They're not real fat. And I don't know how easy they will be to shell when it comes time. They may be hard because they're real firm pods. My zinnias. White onions, they're starting to die back. They're halfway decent size, but some of them are small. That's okay. And my peppers with basil amongst it. This is one that I overwintered in a pot on my front porch. Got peppers on it. They're not thriving like I think they should. My other ones that I planted from seeds look good, nice dark green. The ones that I overwintered are all kind of yellow. This one's not. This one's got a bunch on it that could be picked. Yeah, basil is fixing a flower. And you pinch those off to keep it from flowering. They're everywhere. I need to harvest it and dehydrate it. I think that's the last basil plant. Yeah. More peppers. More corn. Zinnia. Oh, I see red. Look at there, y'all. I have to pick that one. And then my row of black eyed peas. I need to pick peas too. And y'all. This little rice bed with cherry tomatoes are like huge. And then there's ground cherries, and some more celebrity tomatoes along that wall, I mean along that panel. There's a few tomatoes on it, but uh, it's too thick. There's bugs. But yeah, I've been picking cherry tomatoes nearly every day. There's lots of little tomatoes like that. Everywhere. There's some marigolds, zinnias. All right, that's about it for what's in the. Oh, my sunflowers. These are the teddy bear sunflowers and apparently we're going to have one at about a foot tall but that's okay with me fixing to have blooms yay alright I'm going to get busy planting my okra Got to go back to the house and pick it up. Thanks for coming along on my little garden tour. And like and subscribe. I am in Southeast Texas. It's hot. It's humid. And it's gardening season. Of course, it kind of is all year long. Just depends on what you want to grow. But thanks for coming along.